everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction of The Wire as I hit my lamp. Season one, episode four. It has been a while, it's been like over nine days. Why has it taken me so long? I'm sorry. I think that I took a lot of days off last week, which stopped me from filming a bunch of shows. Um, sometimes, honey, I shrunk the kids. You do need a break. Um, regardless, I'm back. Don't think I stopped watching The Wire. It is still here on this platform. And I think the last episode we got into, we just were introduced to Omar. Omar, Omar, the famous Omar that everybody has been talking about. And Omar is played by one of the one of my favorite actors. He was one of my favorite actors who sadly passed away not that long ago. And I think he passed away, as I think I said in the last reaction, from a drug overdose, which is kind of crazy that he's in here that's dealing with drugs. Um, but regardless, let's get into this episode, y'all. I'm excited to be back with The Wire and to get into more of these goody episodes. You wanna see this in full reaction? The link is down below. But while you are down there, please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into The Wire and find out exactly what this show has got to give. Oh, I'm dying here. Let me get on the other side, work it from there. Not working. Let's everybody do it. Uh, all three motherfuckers. One. Oh. You hurt? <coughs> I catch my breath, I'm gonna shoot the drawers off this bitch. Uh. Let's go out. Get over there with calm. Two, you know what to do. Kill them out! We move it a bit when I was alone. It must have got wedged in the door somehow. Well, at this rate, we're never gonna get it in. Uh, in. in. Unbelievable. Unbefucking leavable. In. <laughs> Cause he was pushing it out. I know it doesn't look like much on paper, but see what you can do. Let's put the morning down in juvenile court. The kids know they can't be heard with the streetway charge. Right, uh, he's the best shot. Him? Hand to hand with bubbles. One count distribution of a controlled substance to wit heroin. Eight requests defendant be held as he is part of a continuing investigation for a mandatory five years without parole because of prior conviction. Very well. I'll take that into consideration. Damn, five years. Hey, Lieutenant, come have a taste. Patrick's going out on medical. Sweet. Sweet. This is my ticket out of this ratchet department. Fucking yo, did you a favor? Kid uh, hit like a mule, I gotta say. You should take a couple of days. My brother-in-law's got a video store out of Moravia. Patty, they take that off the top of a medical pension. If you report on his income, they do. Have a nice life, Lieutenant. You gonna miss me, Orcs? The fuck am I gonna do, Patty? What do you say we go out together? What do you mean? I mean, it only hurts for a minute. I I'm serious. You know those stairs where they send us down the basement? Yeah. You go up eight or nine steps, let go of the rail, take a little jump, and you do a little dance on those steps. You're up to two thirds with me. Now, why bang me like that for a one and one? Because it's your turn, Mr. Brown. The judge might want to take a look at this and slow y'all down, I might. I'm looking at your sheet here, and, well, for one thing, it's a little wrong to be calling it a sheet. That's your turn. Tell us some stories. Might could be somebody else's turn. Avon Barksdale. <laughs> Myself, I never really had word with the man. String a bell then. We base, Savino. You don't say a name soon. You're gonna be courtside. I I what? I I take the years. Damn boy. You should see the cop. When you're ready to get up, put that on. Who else is up in here? Anybody from West Side? DC boys. Oh. Why are they all staring at him? Damn, he got beat up. Oh, it's easy like that? Long fucking drive. 
Me and you drawing another shit detail. I'm in Upper fucking Marlboro, Maryland, and still going south. Use your imagination. This little shitbird, having already been whipped good by us once. As he knows, we drove all the way down to Prince George's for more of his ass, right? Don't gold fuck suddenly slipped into a coma. And now the commissioner and Mrs. Mahone are at his bedside. Put it in a jar and drive it back to Baltimore so it can sit with fucking bowling trophies. Fuck nuts. Stops whimpering long enough to just start giving people up. And we break the case wide open. Imagination. Oh. Possibilities. He should walk further from there. Them hand to hand. Nobody flip. Witnesses lying. Witnesses paid off. Witnesses backing up on their story. Can you blame them? Every now and then we visit the projects. They live there. Hmm. This one's got a D as a possible shooter. Oh. This one connects. College girl blown up in the kitchen of an apartment up in Northeast. So how does this match with all the rest of the West Side Project Mopes? You got a witness. Puts her with a D the night she's aced. How many D's do you think there are in the system, Jay? How many uh, case files you got here that you put in Barksdale? Mm, maybe a dozen. How many of those are from our squad? One. Your squad's down a man for weeks, Jimmy. We're gonna be humping your calls, catching your cases, hopping around like a one-legged pig town whore on check. Where's the love, McNulty? Show me some fucking love. All right. He's my son. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you just dump this loser on Santangelo? He's supposed to be down here helping us. Anyway. I would if I could find the fuck. What does Daniels have to say about that? Nothing. I cover for the guy. Really, really dog this one. Ain't nothing in here but a 24 and some crime scene photos. No address. Claims your victim killed after being visited by a suspect named D. There's a callback number, though. So call. That one. <laughs> call. The number you have reached has been uh, disconnected. No further Disconnected. He got you, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, motherfucker. He got me, too. You happy now, bitch? <laughs> they had the court, mold up Amity, toward Lexington. Well, the tower said it was Omar and his crew. Omar? Omar the Teller. Been ripping and bobbing out here for years now. Got a last name? Just Omar. You don't need no last name. Remember No Hard Anthony? Came up with him. They brothers. No Hard Anthony? But right now, I am personally ashamed to be your snitch. <laughs> Send any one of my unit who's up to report to Channel 13. Avon and stuff always be good. Yeah, that's a sweet score. That play was a little bit raggedy in there, though. I'm saying, I really can't. You shouted me out. Everybody in these projects been knowing no more, you heard? I just thought them coming down on y'all, baby boy. Shirley coming with her game. Very fucking day with that shit. I'm gonna check late. Hey, yo, Mike. Hook a sister up, y'all. Got some irons. Think about working the flush and run over on the east side. So things cooler, Mike. So what up, man? You don't want to live over here tonight? Nah. For sure. We'll keep it close. Hear that? Oh. Who the man, huh? Omar GG. That's his last name. Gay gangster. We love it. You ever heard of No Hard Anthony? Who, Anthony Little? He's up in Hagerstown on a robbery bit. What about him? My man. You know how the crack of motherfuckers do? When they kill a deer, got him on the front of the truck, tied up, stretched out, so everybody could see it. I'm serious, that's what I want. I want that motherfucker on display. You know, Bird jailed with Omar down the cut, right? He said he all fat. So he got a lot of hard for a huh? Oh my oh, God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We doubling down on Sweet Lips. Six if I get the chance to holler at him before he get got. Say no more. At least jumping out the next. Something up at the pit? What's up with my nephew? I don't know. I mean, he doing good. He making that money out the hole, but he might have a problem he don't know about. I'm on it. Nowhere and leave it to Beaver Land are you taking me? I'm late for something. What's you late for? Soccer. Suck what? What? Who's winning? winning? They are 4 1. 4 1? Get a drink on the brakes, okay? I don't want you to get dehydrated. Hi. <clears throat> okay. He thought you weren't going to come this time either. This job, you know this job. I need more than every other weekend, Elena. He needs me more than that. So does Sean. I'm not giving up any more weekend. The lawyer says I have to give. It's not 50 50 if I don't see him all goddamn week. The lawyer says. Fuck your lawyer. <laughs> Fuck you. Come on. You get out. I used to love playing soccer. It's good for you? It's a thin line between heaven and here. That's kind of sad, no shame. 
how he know where the stash at? The knockers don't know, but he do. Man, ain't nobody gotta be snitching for Omar, one of his boys, to creep by and see where the stash at. Boy, how you get home so quick? <laughs> Nigga, what you still? <laughs> Carry me XLE. Y'all wanna ride? I'm just too bad for that off-brand little boy bullshit, man. You was me, your ass still be down there. <laughs> you ever seen a city jail, nigga? You ever caught a body? Yeah, you got the one. Yeah, the one you know about. Man, y'all little motherfuckers need to ask around out near the county, right? On the high end of the east side. They got these apartments out there. So there was this little shorty who used to stay out there. I ain't seen a female that fine since. I gotta say shorty was right. It wasn't like that. This was a shorty my uncle was messing with. More right to say he got a few of them around the way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she goes off the hook and shit talking about she gonna call the police, start talking about shit she ain't supposed to know about. And see, I got some creep to me. And my uncle, he know that shit. And they show me how she lives right on the ground floor, right? The first level. I walk up to the window and I look in and it's dark as shit cause it's like three o'clock in the damn morning and shit. So I pulled out the piece and I start tapping with the back of it on the window. That's what she heard, yo. She has a robe, and as she's slipping on a robe, she turns on the light. And it's light on the inside, she can't see shit on the outside. Dang. There's that shit on the window, and she ain't got no choice but to walk over there and see what it is. Looks out, see where it's coming from. She shot him. Lord. Nigga, you sick. Just shut up. What? Just don't, no, don't talk. I'm just saying. Because a lab freezer goes out with an electrical short, 15 rapes are allowed to putrefy. Most of our trace lab is now 25 years old. The Able Foundation, for one, my brother's on the board. If you want me to run it up there for you. You could swing that? Never hurts to ask, does it? <laughs> it never does, Your Honor. So, in that That's same spirit, okay. where are we with the Barksdale probe? Uh, well, my other reason for stopping by. Hand to hands and search and seizures, I've heard about these. Not a knockout blow, but we sent a clear message. I don't see Barksdale's name anywhere, or Bell, or anything about the murders. So we got work to do. Open the damn door! Her? Open the damn door! Open the door! Look at her, she's like, here we go again. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Tell Bodie we're on his ass. I'm sorry for cursing me. At the door, I mean, um... I couldn't see that it was only you. Oh, they have Preston some came to me. Relationship. When my daughter died, I knew he was angry. His mother lived out there. After a while, you couldn't make us see nothing else. 2.30 in the town is Watch your eyes are crazy, man. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm sorry, man. And I'm sorry for the way we came through here. If Preston comes past, give him this. Overall, what was really sad about that whole scene was that the cops came through her house and she's so used to seeing something like this which is ac actually not comfortable at all um and the cops running through cursing um and the black eye coming you know it's really sad too I'm, I'm, I'm diving down into subjects i just have to get this off my chest that as a minority of himself uh, as a minority himself for him to treat other minorities, especially that deal with this type of environment, he shows like absolutely no mercy. But maybe, it, maybe this is a, a kind of like a different situation because of the environment they're in. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I know for me, when I worked with law enforcement, when and I, I, I was never in areas like this, but there were rough and tough areas that I knew of. Um, and especially that my friends live in or used to live in. And I just kind of treated people differently because I see where, where they came from and the struggles they're dealing with. Like people don't really choose to be in this type of life. I don't know. I don't know if I made any sense, but it, this sometimes bothers me that the cops are so aggressive to these people and the vast majority of them just so they have to be here either dealing with poverty or whatever the case and scenario is that's why we need more help for people mental help mental help um and uh obviously drugs and stuff like that i'm just saying let's continue all right, all right. You catch you later i'm glad why does he uh treat her so differently question 
make no some judge for you. Oh, Lord. Look, can I call you back? Major, sir? Yeah. I've been thinking. It's a clear violation of the general orders, I know. Last night, I'm at home. I'm sitting up buck naked. Layla Kaufman. <laughs> yes, sir. It's uh, summer of 72. Fucking detective fucking Jimmy McNulty pops into my head. This guy and his fucking problems are standing between me and all worldly pleasure. Jimmy is an addict, sir. What's he addicted to? Himself. He has come to believe that he is always the smartest fuck in the room. Not going to Johns Hopkins or joining Mensa. He's taking a fucking job with the Balmer Police Department. It must have been months even. He was the smartest fuck in the fucking room. It's also what makes him good police. He gives me eight clearances. One of them was a decomp floater who was John Doe for three weeks. Tell your boy to wrap up that bullshit detail in two weeks. He does that, he comes home. Wow. Burrell is sitting across from me with a handful of street-level arrests, pretending he has a plan. Never shit a shitter, deputy. That's what I fucking told him. They're good, right, Jimmy? Look, I gotta go. The judiciary's attempt to maintain a speedy disposition of criminal cases. What the hell's Hicks from mine? Did you highlight my sofa? That was there from before. <laughs> it was. Damn, Kim, my marker does not come out. You want my marker? I need to see a warrant. <laughs> I'm serious. New rule, no marker on the couch. You get over that table over there and do your homework. Cell phone bill must eat up the paycheck. Nah, most of that's work. It's on the company. The well, I'm not about. Go. What are you telling me? I'm not telling you anything, sir. Oh. I'm waiting for you to tell me. If you want me to push it further, I can do that. If you want it to go away, you want to bring in someone else, maybe do things differently. You're looking for the back door, Lieutenant? <laughs> Already? <laughs> McNulty says this case needs a wire. You think he's right? It needs something. Just climb your ass up the pole, man. Nah, nah, man. We ain't never gonna hit, man. Bah! That's your page, Emma. Should be. It's me. It's me. Loan a pager. I got it from home. Pages, huh? Some kind of throwback thing. I was checking out a wireless bill last night. Every incoming call was listed. So if we get Barksdale's pager, we might get off the street, maybe even trace some supplies. So a couple of years back, I don't know why, he finds himself in Randallstown trying to take off a jewelry store. Guess no hard figures, he's not up for doing the time, because he puts a 404 against his chest, pulls the trigger. Wakes up two hours later in the University ER. <laughs> with a new nickname. Bubble says it's Anthony's brother who took off with the Barksdale stash the other night. Dude named Omar. Man like that is likely to have a weapon on him. You jack him up. It's a charge to work. Probably knows a whole lot more. Ooh. See? And they're coming for Omar. Everybody's coming for Omar. The thing is, we're gonna have to sell this. Listen to you more than me. Uh... Oh, he's, uh, he's at ECU. He's got a case going today. Well, as of today, I haven't heard anything to the contrary, so... Ideas? We could continue with the buzz. On the other hand, the people we pulled in last week had pages. They get beeped, we get beeped. We see who's calling from what number. Why not and ask a few dollars for cell phones? It's a discipline. You can't bug a pager. You're gonna want a pen register on all the pay phones in the low rises. What would it take to do the pages? Why I tap affidavit? Got most of the exhaustion. I'm exhausted. Just listen to this shit. Exhaustion is a legal requirement for using electronic intercepts. Made the arrest, but nobody flipped. We don't have an informant who takes us anywhere above the street. All we got left to do now is to follow one of these mopes and to prove to ourselves that we can't do it. How can we keep on any of them when they go up in those towers? But you gotta show you try. Do we have a pager number? This is written on the stash house wall with the letter D next to it. Is that D'Angelo? Did you check it? It's him. He's probably the best cop there. No shade. Let's do this. Will you explain to me again why I'm about to rework a six-month-old crime scene? Keely didn't do shit on this. He did the scene, though. It's Keely we're talking about. Give it a shake or two anyhow. Make a sergeant happy. <laughs> so you said they gave you humps. He looks like a hump. He acts like a hump. Don't let Lester fool you. He did already. It's a damn roll call. He showed something. He used to be homicide. Why'd he leave? Ask him. This is the one, huh? Yep. Hasn't been managed since. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. What the fuck?
cock? Fuck. Fuck. What? Oh, fuck. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. Ah ha 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 Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That's the woman that he shot and killed? Fuck it, he fuck, 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 fuck. Huh? Fuck, 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 fuck. Sitting his own foot, calves in the car. Herc, you need to be on top of the roof. You can't follow people in them towers, and you can't even hang in the low rise unless you got a reason. Then why the fuck do this? Come on, Herc. Roll with me on this one, all right? Bye. So you're police after all. How long you been in the pawn shop unit? 13 years and four months. 13 years? And four months. You can take reports from registered pawn shops on all items valued over $50. If someone wants to find out if something stolen has been pawned, we look to see if we have an index card. You did that for 13 years? And four months. Why'd you ask out of homicide? I think I need to buy you a drink. Just one? Stabbed up, nightgown in bed, force window, rear entrance. Squirrel number one gives it up and tries to put all the weight on squirrel number two. Pinned it on the rear window for number two and another one for number one on the medicine chest. Even better is when squirrel number one drives it by the house where they fence the old lady shit. Problem was the fence. Turned out he was the son of one of the big editors. This man is running the afternoon newspaper and his son is getting all fucked up doing the dirt. we word down to the major. I'm supposed to make the case without so he's doing this for what? Have some newspaper guy in his pocket? Yeah, I guess so. Burrell? No, no, Mueller. Deputy ops before Burrell. I charged him with receiving, then had his ass testify. It's on the prints and the statements. Probably. Yep. Why didn't you? Why are you fucking up yourself chasing Avon Barksdale? The major comes to me, asks me where I want to go. I tell him, I don't care. I like to be outside, you know? You went to a foot post? No, oh, Major, come back and ask me where I don't want to go. I don't want no fucking paper shuffle. No office shit. You got me good, huh? <laughs> so why they let you out of the box? Why now? I guess they just forgot about me. Moreland says you're natural police. One of the few. Yeah, I've had my moments. When they ask you where you want to go, do yourself a favor. Keep your mouth shut. We like Lester. We love us some Lester. Is Kima there? And you are? Tell her it's, uh, it's McNulty. Who are you, Kima? A decidedly confused white boy. How'd it go today? Picked him back up in the low rises and then lost him on Shoulder Street after dark. Are you okay to drive? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to thank you. You should be thanking Lester. Oh, I did. I just wanted to thank you, too. No problem. That it is. Love Lauren. Worse. Lonely. That's interesting. You didn't make it into class again today. You said you'd stick with it. <sighs> I'm trying. You said yourself you needed to do something else. Something better for us. No better women than you have fallen for my tricks, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Well, well. So, so, so. I have to continue to I have to watch the show at least once a week. I can, I'm gonna try my hardest never to skip it because watching this episode, I was trying to remember everything that happened in the last episode and it was throwing me out of my element. By the way, I bit my tongue. So if I start talking a little weird or this is a very short outro, my tongue is a killing. I am sorry. Um, but regardless, I did enjoy this episode, but there was so much names in here that I was trying to remember who was who, what players were doing what, and now I'm, I'm, so I'm realizing Omar has a crew, but we only seen two. One seems like it might be his boyfriend or his play thing that possibly he met on Grinder. We don't know yet. The other guy who he said bye to kind of looked like he 
was doing something with him as well. So Omar is who I call um, the gay gangster, and I live so so much for that. So I'm ex I'm very excited to explore and to see what's going to happen with that. I would say when they were when the other side was going like, oh yeah, he's the F word and he's this and the third. And I'm like, you see, that's the problem with you straight guys. You keep sleeping on, on us gay men, no pun intended. And you keep thinking that we are just just some gay people that we, we can't really do anything. No, sweet nips. We're a little bit more than that, honey. We are more than that. And I hope Omar wipes these people clean. Minus um Idris Alba, Alba, is that how you say his name? Regardless, he is fine, honey. Um, I liked this episode, but once again, I have to make sure that I watch it once a week so I can retain all the information with all these players. This show is definitely one of those shows that I have to sit back and watch and not talk as much, at least right now as I get used to all these characters and all the names and everything that's going on. Um, I really stated how I feel about the cops and how they treat the people in this poverty area. It kind of bothers me, um, but I know it's a show, but also this probably happens in real life, right? So it does bother me a little bit as we watch it. Um, and it's crazy that we saw the woman in the beginning of the episode who was naked, who died from a gunshot, then ended up, that guy ended up telling a story about how he kills people more than one body. Then by the ending of this episode, we realized that it was that same lady who he killed with and then tapping with the gun. That was crazy. Um, so we solved that case and they got the bullet so they could probably somehow match it with him. So that's a gag. Um, also, what else? We saw a little bit of Omar. We saw a little bit of um, that other crew. I can't say their names right now, especially with my tongue killing me right now. Um, and so, and then we had the cops then we have McNulty. Does he have a crush on the lesbian girl? I can't remember her name. Like he went all the way over there to like, it looked like he was flirting with her. And I wasn't sure that he was drunk, but he's always, he always is drunk. So I guess that's what was going on at the ending of this. I also like the judge working with McNulty to get things either moving or progressing or how McNulty obviously got the judge to kill whatever this was so they could stop ruining his case. So I did enjoy that as well. And I enjoyed the, the, the bigger fat guy, uh, cop, I shouldn't say fat, but the bigger guy who has the crazy ass pants that are hiked all the way up to his, um, his, uh, <laughs> about to say ass, his, up his butt. Um, so I liked how he defended me Nulty, uh, by the gist of that to giving that little story. First, his story about how he was like holding a beer and pleasuring himself. I was like, what are we doing? I do not want to think about this, sir. But then when he, came around to it how he was saying like pretty much Minolte is a good guy. I was like, okay, okay I like you. I like you. The story not so much, but I do like you Um, so overall I do like this episode once again I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna try my hardest to either watch this once a week or at least add it again twice to See if I can mix it up and do it on an extra episode in a week. Once again, you guys know one man band over here I do watch a lot of shows. I have two more shows coming out. Um, I'm just a guy who suffers from ADD and likes to keep my platform very diverse, so I'm all over the place. Um, but regardless, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. We're gonna get more into uh, The Wire. So help me out down below, comment down below as you guys always do, you guys are freaking amazing. And please check out all my other reactions while you are here. And until next time, I'm off this. Look, I ain't got no time to be hanging around. Nobody trying to figure around if they could or evil. I'm writing the crime, saving your lives. One at a time, I'm killing the rhymes. I do it for the people. I'll be the one running through the six with a bag on the track.